hi guys what's up and welcome back to another slage my name has always been ajwa ajwa okay so today we are going to have a very simple and fun tutorial so today i'm going to transform my hair i mean this hair from this housewife to a boss bay and first of all this is how i prepare my hair i usually braid my hair into three strand braids and rebraid like i rebraid my hair for about three times like i braid and rebraid so you see my hair is parted into two so i'll braid one section into like three braid the other section into three and go back to the first three that i did and rebraid unbraid it and rebraid it and go back to that the other section unbraid it and rebraid it and come back unbraid it and rebraid it if you want a tutorial on how i stretch out my hair like what i just explained in case you don't understand the explanation you want to see a vivid video how i stretch out my hair without heat let me know in the comment section below i'm going to do that for you guys so today we're going to do space bun which means we're going to have two buns and i kind of spice it up with some curves with some curves in front with my hair you know how we do we always love to spice things up we always love to do the do i mean do what do special things apart from what what the normal we have to do we always have to do things apart from the normal so um here i'm trying to straighten the line i actually did a rough line a rough section because i just needed the sectioning to stretch out my hair so now i need this line this very straight line from the front of my hair to the back of my hair a very straight and clean line so all i'm trying to do is to correct the previous line that i have previously from my stretch out process but this time we're using it for a hairstyle so the line has to be neat because the line is part of the hairstyle if the line is neat it means the hairstyle is going to be lit lit <laughs> lit latest so first of all i'm going to get one side of the hair away so that i can focus on the other side you know so i need to do that that's exactly what i'm doing right now i need to detangle the ends make sure everything is very detangled and i'm going to hold it away with some scrunchies my favorite thick black scrunchies if you haven't watched my product my hair product haul i'm going to insert the thumbnail here for you to see so please go and watch this video go and watch this video if you want to see how and where i got the scrunchies from watch this video so now let's continue so i'm going to braid my hair i'm going to braid it because i didn't twist it because i want to feather that stretch on my hair because if i twist it my hair will be going into shrinkage shrinkage my hair will be curling up because you know twist usually makes your hair curl up but for braid like this for box braid like this they actually stretch out your hair yeah, especially if you are not keeping it for too long if you keep it for too long you're going to have curls but this is for some few minutes until when i'm done with this section of my hair and i'll go back to that section so for you to get that sweet popping curls from the intro of the video you saw some popping curls in front of my two buns so i want to section this that part that i'm going to use for that curls out that's exactly what i'm doing so i'm going to take that section out you know take it out and braid it away because i want it to be stretched as well so i do that pattern just like i'm doing and i'm going to break that away
so at this point i was kind of in love with my lens i mean the lens is very important and i couldn't believe the fact that my hair is this long my natural hair with no chemicals no not permed my very natural hair is this long like i couldn't believe it so now i'm going to go to the main deal so the main deal is to grip my hair up when it's up that is stuck so my to grip my hair to the top secure it with some scrunchies baby baby we need to secure it to make sure everything is tight and smooth as in smooth this method really helps the gel to lay flat as well so i'm going to be using the new new gorilla gel i got yes um, in this video i wanted to test it this is the first time i'm using it because like i said if you haven't watched my hair product haul go and check that video out because i mentioned this product in that video so this is the first time using it and baby it laid layered it laid my hair to the core and also if you want to see another method of how to slick your natural hair i have this very beautiful video right here go and check the video out trust me you will love it So right now I'm making sure to apply a very generous amount of the gel to facilitate a very slick, slick, slick <laughs> ponytail for me. So I further go ahead with this brush. I spoke about this brush in that video. That Here I'm just making sure I keep my edges away from the ponytail because if you don't know ponytail can also rip your edges because if it is tight it's going to pull your edges and you might lose your edges so don't think it's just ponytail it's not braid so my edges are safe make sure you keep your edges out of your ponytail thank you so i removed the scrunchies because after applying the gel and slicking it with the brush the the hair become became loose but at this point it's ponytail and we need everything to come in tight and smooth that does not mean you should give yourself headaches if it's too tight and you're having headaches please loosen it up leaks mine wasn't giving me a headache anyway you see from the video that it was quite tight but immediately i remove my hand the tightness is reduced so if your ponytail is giving you headaches please loosen it you don't need headache to get ponytails thank you so um further i'm braiding my ends to make sure they are they are stretched out and for ponytail i need for this ponytail in particular i need to pull my hair together and make it small so that i can put the ponytail on it so that's exactly what i'm doing i put it in braid and wrap it around and it's as small as it is period so i'm going to repeat the same process for that section back here so let me just keep quiet and watch 
the repeat version of what I did from that section in this to this section in case you didn't understand what I did with that section let me be quiet so that you watch and understand what I did because it's a repetition of the same process And yes, I forget. Thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. I am more than grateful to each one of you. I am so appreciative of you. God bless you for supporting my little empire. We have 2,000 people here. It left for us to get monetized. So please watch the video in full watch the video in hd and please share the video to your friends and loved ones as you bless me as you keep supporting me god is going to bless you so for a more or further hold i sprayed some got to be spray gel some got to be spray glue to further give it a further for further hold i mean you know keep everything smooth and tight forgive me if you're hearing any noise from the background because <laughs> i can't explain it's just the sound from my neighbors so please forgive me manage it okay i think i'm doing better now because now my sound is upgraded you can hear me more clearer and yeah so you're back from the back from the housewife to a slave babe that i've always been so now i'm done with my makeup it's time to put on my dress trimmed kinky ponytail afro kinky ponytail actually if you want to see a detailed video of how i did this just strange afro kinky ponytail detachable like you can remove it and keep it for 100 years anytime you feel like doing afro ponytail you just put it back as simple as that very simple 
i did it myself it's a diy and if you want to see that video here is the thumbnail for that video okay so make sure you go check it out the link will definitely be in the description box below as usual go check it out do it yourself baby you don't go really spend tons of cities on this afro kinky dress change do it yourself diy that's why i'm here for you i show you all of them and you follow my lead follow my lead do it yourself let's lay together so here i'm trying to put the hair together make it look beautiful as possible because when i attached it to the ponytail mind you these are two ponytails they are two 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 bonds and it was too big leaving it like that so i need to shape it with my very favorite thick black scrunchies so i i attach the scrunchies to make it smaller and i fluff it out to make it look as natural as possible so exactly you see how beautiful it looks it looks like that's the exact size but that's not the size it's way bigger like times two of this size but i needed to see the space so i need to fluff it out if i i need to i need to hold it up to make it smaller because if it's that big it will definitely cover the space i mean the space means the line between the two bonds so i need to see the line that is how that's why it's called space bun without the line it's not called space bun without the line it comes together it looks like one bun but i need the line so you know that beautiful my beautiful section i left in front is the spice i mean is the icing on the cake so i'm using this curling iron which was gifted to me by my mommy mommy veronica nemo i love you so much mommy for being so supportive she gifted a set of this curling iron to me like she's been so supportive of her daughter yes so i'm using it to curl my hair the hair in front you know to make the curls pop in this case i'm using heat but heat in just this small section i hate applying heat to my hair so much i don't know the number of times i have to tell people i hate applying heat to my natural hair the moment i know know i know of this hence the reason why you see my hair always beautiful so you should know this and know life period you see how popping the curls came in for the power pain that's what i'm talking about and i fed that spray it with this gel to make it last long and this is the final look for some weird reasons i couldn't find the concluding part of this video which i don't want to talk about because if i think about it my head will be headaching me i don't want to think about it so thank you all so much for sticking with me till the end of this slay age don't forget to subscribe just give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment let me know you came in to support your girl and until next time don't forget to be you do you and mind your business